What's up everyone? Just got in my Amazon package for the proof copies of the upcoming sci-fi novel. So we're going to open these up. If you saw my last video, this is my brother Josh, you can say hey. <laughs> if you saw my last video, you probably noticed the quality was pretty bad when it came to the Amazon uh, printing and the packaging for my other book that I wrote about a year and a half ago. So we're going to open this up. It's for the sci-fi novel. It's called Sulkris. And we're going to see the quality of this and see if they did a good job. Alright, so let's cut this thing open. See what we got. I thought this was going to be an apology note from the last one. Ooh, uh, pretty sweet. Um, by the way, this is not the final... You can tell they messed that up on the spine. Not symmetrical, but not terrible. Very cool, very good. This is bent pretty bad right there, but the color and the saturation levels are a lot better than the last one. Let's put this other one. Oh yeah, that's much better, that's very crisp. It's almost like you got a 50-50 shot of getting what you want. <laughs> so if you just order enough, half of them will be decent. Okay, this is awesome. Yeah, great. So a lot of this in here is not what it's going to be in the final copy, but basically just to see, you know, how thick was the book going to be, what were the fonts going to look like, and general idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and read this aloud to my wife, and then we'll make edits as we go. But not not bad at all. Very excited. If you want to read the uh, the about this book and everything, it's on the website. You can check it out. I'll put the link below. Um, but overall, pretty good. Pretty happy with them. All right, so it's been four months. What does that proof copy look like? Let's take a look. The cover, this was a gloss finish, and the gloss finish is starting to peel. So the gloss, how they get that, they basically seal a little plastic layer on top. This is KDP. And eventually over time, the glue, the adhesive, it just starts to wear off. Now I will say, um, my friend Zach over at Zach's Books, you can check him out on YouTube. I sent him a proof and he's written a review of the book. And from videos and pictures I've seen of his, his has seemed to have held up a lot better. I think because I was, you know, using this um, all the time to make edits, throwing it in my backpack, taking it everywhere I went, you know, making, like I've marked this book up, you know, making edits, as you can see, uh, for the final copy. So I think for me, because I was making all these edits, that I just wore it down a lot faster. You know, I splashed water on it and I was pretty rough with it. Because I know this, I'm not selling this. This is just a hard copy that I got so I can make revisions, you know, for the final copy. Like for example, that map, you know, my wife's a graphic designer, she's completely redone that. The new version looks like a good map. <laughs> um, you know, everything's changed. Fonts have changed. Here I did Garamond. That's going to be what Amazon's going to give you as a template. Um, Garamond looks okay. I did one and a half times spacing. The new version is Bookman Old, I believe is what it's called. Looks way better. Uh, this version was 72,000 words. The final version that I just finished uh, recently is about 83,000 words. Um, cover looks completely different. Everything is different. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, you know, if you have put a lot of wear and tear on your books after about four months, so it's going to wear down if you're making edits in it. But you know, I, I like to get a hard copy um, when I do my revisions for a book because I don't like to look at a screen for nine hours. So I'd rather get that rough draft finish, print a proof, ship it to my house and start making edits on something that's tangible uh, versus making edits on a screen. So anyway, that's what it's going to look like after about four months if you're pretty rough with it. But again, I've seen, you know, Zach's, maybe Zach, you can comment below what you think, but his seem to have held up a lot better. So leave your comments below how your proof copies have held up over time.